Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss needle stick injury or NSI. If you are watching this video without subscribing channel, please do subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for all. Then only you will get the notifications on time. Needle stick injury or NSI is the accidental puncture of the skin by a needle or sharps contaminated with blood or contaminated body fluids. Injury occurs when the skin is accidentally punctured with a used needle. According to World Health Organization, more than 2 million occupational exposures to sharp injuries occur among 35 million healthcare workers annually. The highest persons of NSI include laboratory technicians, nursing staffs, labor room staffs, physicians, hospital cleaning staffs, clinical waste handlers, etc. The common causes of needle stick injury include needle recapping, careless use of needles, improper disposal of needles, overfilling of disposal containers. Needle stick injury increases the risk of over 20 types of infectious diseases among healthcare workers including HIV, HBSAG and HCV. The major risk factors of NSI include depth of injury, size of needle, amount of blood and type of infection. All healthcare workers should note that hepatitis B virus vaccination is recommended for all healthcare workers. HBV vaccine has proved highly effective in preventing infection in workers exposed to hepatitis B virus. And there is no vaccine access to prevent HCV or HAV infection. Let us discuss about NSI protocol. Do not squeeze the area, allow free bleeding. Wash the side with soap and water. Check the patient status for HAV and HBCG. And if not known, get it done. Where the exposure source is unknown or can't be tested, an assessment of the situation may suggest an increased risk. Then inform infection control nurse that is ICN. Give your blood samples for HIV and HBSAG in the laboratory. If the source patient is HIV or HBSAG positive, then follow up treatment regimen within 2 hours of injury. If the healthcare worker is vaccinated for HBV within 3 years, blood test repeat after 3 months. And if not vaccinated, take full course vaccine in 0, 1 and 6 months. Then post exposure prophylaxis or PEP. If the source patient is HIV positive, PEP should be started as early as possible after an exposure. It has been seen that PEP started after 72 hours of exposure is of no use and hence it is not recommended. Then the precautions of NSI. Never recap a used needle. Remember that latex gloves do not protect you against needle stick injuries. Place used needles in appropriate containers. Follow all safety procedures in the workplace. Health workers should receive hepatitis B vaccinations. Keep it in mind that there is no vaccination is available for HIV and HCV. It's all about needle stick injury. Today we are winding up. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. And if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel. Turn on notifications for all. Then only you will get the notifications on time. Thank you.